Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more concept in memory management that is memory management techniques or memory allocation techniques. So in our previous session, we have seen the introduction to memory management and the differences among physical address and the logical address, address binding. Okay, so in today's session, we'll start the memory allocation techniques or memory management techniques. So without delay, let us start. Memory management techniques. So the name itself indicates, so this is a one important feature of operating system. So memory management. So how the memory can be allocated for the processes. So that is the topic. So in today's session, we'll see what are the different types of memory management techniques. And in our further sessions, we will discuss about each one uh, clearly. Okay. So this memory management techniques So these memory management techniques are divided into two categories. So one is uni programming, uni programming, and similarly multi programming. So coming to this uni programming, the name itself indicates at a time only one process can be loaded into the main memory for its execution so only one process is allowed here okay one process is allowed whereas multi programming so here also the name itself indicates multiple processes can be loaded into the main memory and the operating system or the CPU will be switching between these processes. So in order to get the parallel execution, okay, multiple program, simple, simple definition and multiple processes can be allowed into the main memory. Okay. So multiple processes are allowed. So whereas here the single process. So coming to this multi-programming, okay, multi-programming that is very important to give the memory, allocate the memory because here there is only one process. So obviously that process will be loaded into the main memory. But here what we are saying is multiple processes can be loaded into the main memory. So there we should be very careful while allocating the memory. Okay, so this multi-programming is again divided into two categories. One is contiguous non-contiguous contiguous means a continuous memory locations and non-contiguous means uh, not in a sequence okay so contiguous memory locations means so the complete memory will be allocated in a continuous blocks of memory continuous blocks of memory but non-continuous means it is not necessary to maintain the consistency. I mean, it is not necessary to allocate the continuous memory locations. Wherever the free memory is available, that will be allocated to the process. That is non-contiguous. Okay. So, again, this contiguous is divided into two categories. One is fixed partition. Another one, variable partition, fixed partition and variable partition. See here the name itself indicates fixed partition means the complete memory will be divided into fixed size of blocks. Okay, so partition means block. So if the complete memory will be divided into a different blocks and all the blocks are of same size, fixed size. So here, uh, using this fixed partitioning, 
gives one disadvantage that is a internal fragmentation so don't worry about uh, in depth concept so we'll in our further sessions we'll go one by one so what is contiguous in that what is a fixed partition and everything so overview i am giving so fixed partition there will be internal fragmentation if you are allocating the memory in a fixed partition okay and if what is the internal fragmentation means if the process is less than the fixed partition for example the process size the process size is 10 mb and the partition size the fixed partition size is 20 mb then this process can be accommodated in this partition but 10 mb of space will be wasted because no other process can be accommodated here so this particular partition this complete particular partition here partition is a block this complete block will be assigned to the process where it will be occupying only 10 mb of space the other 10 mb is a waste of process so that type of thing we call it as an internal fragmentation so that is the disadvantage of this fixed partition and coming to this variable partitioning so in order to avoid this uh, kind of fixed part i mean internal fragmentation problems so we are moving on with the variable partition where the name itself indicates the blocks will be created dynamically based upon the process size so whenever a process wants to be uh, uh, allocated i mean a memory uh, whenever a memory can be allocated to a process based upon the size of the process the block will be created so dynamically memory will be allocated in variable partition based upon the process size so this will also call as static partition because it is a fixed variable partition it is a dynamical partition dynamic so the memory will be allocated dynamically the memory is allocated uh, statically that means equally and coming to the non contiguous here also the same thing so this is also non contiguous also will be considered as both uh, uh, two parts one is a paging another one is a segmentation paging and segmentation so paging means here both the physical memory as well as the logical memory will be divided into blocks so in this contiguous only the main memory will be divided into different blocks but here both the physical and logical memories will be divided into blocks where we call them as a frames and a pages so all the pages will be loaded into the corresponding frames okay so one will be the main memory one will be the secondary memory so we know that if any one process wants to be get executed that process should be loaded into the main memory from the secondary memory so the process will be moving from pages to frames okay in this in this paging concept okay so we'll discuss further so there are a paging uh, um, page replacement algorithms were there so we'll see what is a page what is a frame and how the a movement will be done from pages to frames etc etc in our further session and coming to the segmentation also so here also the complete memory will be allocated but based upon the logical units that means the differentiation between a functions data etc etc so based upon the logical functions or uh, the based upon the functions so this complete segmentation will be divided into logical units so each unit we will call them as a segments segments okay so here we are calling them as a partition or a block in contiguous in paging we are calling them as a pages and frames and whereas in segmentations so everywhere we are doing the same thing memory will be divided into partitions memory will be divided into blocks so here we are calling them as a pages and uh, frames here we are we will be calling them as a segments segments okay so this is the complete memory management techniques how uh, efficiently we need to use a memory is a very important concept in operating system okay so uni programming and multi programming there will be no problem with the uni programming because only one process will be allowed at a time and coming to the multiple processes then there will be uh, a dilemma or then there will be 
a question so how efficiently we can allocate the memory so there we will be having the contiguous and non contiguous so contiguous means uh, contiguous memory locations and non contiguous means so it it is not necessary to give the contiguous and fix it a variable and here it is a paging and segmentation so this is a complete overview of memory management techniques or we can also call them as memory allocation techniques memory allocation techniques right yes so i'll stop here and uh, if you enjoyed the session uh, like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much